Hey there, everybody. Kendall here. I'm trying to fix my hair. And it's just not wanting to fix. It's all wild, wonky, and crazy, of course. Because I think that that's just what my hair does. You probably hear me say that all the time. My hair is doing this. My hair is doing that. Like, my hair is the most important thing. Maybe it is. Maybe my hair is the most important thing. I don't know. Anyway, I just decided that I would pull over because I am headed back to do um, a free spirit talks with Addison Bell here in just a little bit. And I wanted to jump on and make sure to get conscious coffee out to you guys on this beautiful, beautiful holiday Monday. Um, I know a lot of people aren't working. It just makes kind of the nice, um, there's not a lot of traffic out today. I can tell you that because as I'm running to and fro here, it is definitely no traffic in the Dallas area. Not a whole lot, that is. Um, busy, busy day for me, though. Um, I was thinking about, like, you know, this morning I wrote an article about the thing that holds us back, that thing, you know, being our fear, our desperation, our neediness, our fear of not obtaining all that we desire, all that we want, our goals, our dreams, you know, and, and just a lot of it comes down to, well, if I don't get what I want, then what will people think? What will people say? You know, and this whole fear of just like, what will happen? Like the world is going to be over. It is this massive leap of faith that we have to do in order to achieve our dreams and our goals. And the leap of faith is to not have such a neediness for the things that we so desperately want. So there's the gist of the article if you haven't read it yet. I do encourage you to go and read the article that I put out this morning. Uh, the picture that was taken, we we um, we snuck a camera in. We were down in Mexico last week, and that picture is from uh, the Riviera Maya, um, the Azul area of Mexico. And we were up on this great big water tower with four humongous slides that come down. It's brand new at this one um, place that I love to go when down there to go snorkeling and everything. We have been snorkeling with Stingray out in the ocean and we've been doing all this other stuff, but we went up on this tower that's just been built in the last three years since the last time I was there. And we're not, you're not supposed to take anything up there. You're not supposed to have shoes. You're not supposed to have sunglasses and you're most certainly not supposed to bring your cell phone. Well, my beloved, he manages to sneak things in in the strangest of ways. I don't know where he hid his phone, but he did get patted down to go up to this thing, and they did not find his phone. So let's just think about where he possibly had his phone. He claims it was in his pocket. I don't know what pocket he was talking about, but he did manage to get some beautiful pictures for me, and that picture was taken up there. And, you know, that right there, I, I was listening to some of the people before they went down the slide there was a couple people that were scared to death. They go way the heck up here on this, on this tower, you know, and then they got up there and they were like, no, 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 I'm not going to go down. And it's just going down the slide and then you land in water and they have lifeguards down at the bottom just in case you hit a little bit too hard or get the, you know, unsorted underneath the water and everything. And it made me think back to three years ago when I was at the same destination, same place with a lover of mine, different lover, same destination. And we were running around and hiking and there was this, this cliff. And he, of course, loved to jump off cliffs. He's one of those guys that I definitely attract men into my life that typically love to jump off of things and scare me half to death. And he was jumping off of everything. Of course, he jumped off of this cliff. Now, the cliff is not that big of a cliff. My ex-husband, he watched the video that I posted on my private, private Facebook, where it's just limited to like grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, and my children and a couple really close friends. And I posted the video there and he was like, you know, I can't believe, you know, like that's such a big deal. And he's like, I, I watched that video. I was like, yeah, it's not very far at all though. Why is she making such a big deal of it? And then I remembered your fear of jumping into water. And I had this massive, massive fear of jumping into water like it is it is absolutely astronomical this fear it is like i'm being thrown out of an airplane without without a parachute fear like i'm going to go smack and just not ever you know i'm not going to survive it and three years ago i came up on this cliff which is like 14 15 feet it's not it really i mean logically i know that this is not that big of a cliff and then there's 10 12 feet of water to go into and i don't weigh that much so i'm not gonna like hit the bottom and kill myself you know and and they have it set up where there's this safety parameter and they've got a life you know a, a, a guard down there as well so just in case 
you, you can't disorder it underneath the water. He's there to save you, right? And it's done in an area where you're not going to hit rocks. There's no like large predator fish there that are going to eat you or anything like that. So it's sheer goofiness on my part that I couldn't do this three years ago. And three years ago, I came up on there and there was another woman who was getting ready to jump too. And she freaked the fuck out. And I was already caught up with this, this phobia that I have. And she just wigged out and it pulled up everything inside of me. It pulled up all my fear, all my doubt. And I wanted to throw up and I looked over and it was like I was staring out of an airplane without a parachute 30,000 feet up. And I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I remember my lover the following week, he was reading a book. He was on his way to Alaska and he was reading a book and he took some notes out of the book and sent them to me. And it was, it was a spiritual based book from an author. I don't remember who it was, but this man was talking about that he had done, he had come up against something just like that, where he was getting ready to, to leap. And he was standing up on this cliff with some buddies of, of his, and they were doing cliff diving and he was terrified. He was absolutely terrified. And something inside of him told him that he needed to do this because this was, this was really, truly taking that step, that, that leap of faith and knowing that, the, that God had his back and he stood there and finally he just leaped and he did it. And he proclaimed that it was that leap that catapulted him into the next phase of his life, the next receiving phase, the next phase of growth, of expansion. And he was talking about that he was for certain that if he had not taken that leap in that moment when it was pressed upon him to do that through spirit, through soul, to take that physical leap off of that cliff, at, that it would have, that he just definitely would have not made it to where he did over the course of the time frame after that. And when I read those words that my lover sent me three years ago from that book, I felt about this big. I felt like I had sacrificed my whole life. And there was a whole bunch of changes that have occurred over the course of the three years in between that moment and the moment of last weekend. And I look back and some of it, I go, I think, you know, I don't want to, to prophesize or, or, or make assumptions or anything, but there is definitely this feeling from my soul that says, you know, if I had taken that leap back then, what could have potentially happened over the course of time? You know, like where did I shut myself down over the last three years? Because I didn't step into that faith right there in that moment when it was pressed upon me in that moment, why didn't I do it? And I allowed fear to conquer me instead of me conquering fear. So it was vitally important to me, let alone it was on my birthday that I chose to say, F fear, F fear, I am, I'm not going to allow this to, to hold on to me anymore. And I stood on that same cliff and felt all the same fear and wanted to throw up and want so badly to back down, so badly to back down. And no matter what, I just decided, you know, no, I'm doing this and doing this. And I jumped, mm -hmm. I jumped and I did it. And here's the funny thing, you know, yeah, my ex-husband saying, well, it wasn't that far, but I know that I'm proud of you. And he told me, he's like, I'm, I'm proud of you for overcoming that. Cause I know how big that was for you. Like jumping off of five feet would be a big deal for me. And 15 was, like I said, 30,000 feet up in the air without a parachute would have equated to just about the same feeling. My message to you guys today is that no matter how big that leap is, it might be small to somebody else because they've done it because it's not a big deal to them. But if you're taking a leap in faith, it's a big fucking deal to your growth, to your expansion, to your receiving, to your ability to be all of who you truly are. And nobody out there can ever tell you who you really are. Nobody out there can ever really just, you know, proclaim that you are less than or, or not good enough or being silly or being naive or being stupid. When you come up on those cliffs in life and you feel soul, you feel spirit, you feel God pushing you, pushing you to take that leap of faith. I promise you this, when you, when you actually get a hold of yourself and you go, no, I am doing this. I am conquering fear. I will not allow fear. I will not allow everybody else's opinions, ideas, judgments, criticisms, you know, uh, to, to rule me. 
I will no longer buy into somebody else's beliefs of who I am. Instead, I will take this leap. I will leap in faith. I will leap in joy. I will leap into my future. Know that when you do that, that you really truly are leaping into a beautiful dynamic future because what you get from it is so much. The power and force that you feel in your body, whether it is a physical leap like that, or it is a spiritual leap or an emotional or mental leap, it all equates down to the exact same thing. It is called that blind faith, that blind faith, and you're not going to have certainty in it. You're not, you know, I can preach all damn day long about having certainty, having certainty, but faith, faith sometimes requires zero certainty. It just requires the courage to step off the cliff and to allow yourself to be embraced by God, allow yourself to be caught, allow yourself to be carried. And I ask you today, where are you avoiding the leap? Where are you stepping back from those cliffs in life? Where are you not just letting yourself fall, fall in grace, fall in love into the arms of God, into the abundance, the joy, the everything that you truly want? Because I promise you, I promise you that on the other side of that faith, on the other side of that fear, when you really, really push through, when you drop into that and you surrender into it, that's where everything just breaks free. That's where you meet who you truly are. You get to experience a new aspect of life, a new expansion of life, and that's where your dreams, your goals start to manifest. So where are you holding yourself back by not leaping into faith? On that note, make sure that you catch Addison and I later today with Free Spirit Talks, uh, noon central standard time. You can access that. It'll probably be uh, streamed over here to my coaching page as well. If you're catching this on the replay, make sure that you catch Free Spirit Talks as well on the replay. If I've said anything in this conscious coffee that was valuable to you or makes you think of somebody, please hit the little share button. Help me get these, these powerful messages out to everybody. If you're interested in having a little bit of hand-holding on that leap of faith, feel free to message me. Look in the comment section for the the consult application so that we can get you leaping into faith, leaping into your dreams, your desires, into having that fuck yes life because you're worth it. You are worth it. Your soul knows it. And that feeling, that desire, that tension that you're feeling, that hunger at your core, that that's your soul saying, hey, hey, we deserve this. This is our life. And um, we're not living it right now. And that's why we're feeling fatigued. That's why we're feeling scared. That's why we're feeling nervous. That's why we're feeling edgy, angry, frustrated. You know, that's why we're not happy. Yeah, that question, that virus question of why are you not happy? It's because you're not living your purpose. It's not, it's because you're not living in faith and you're not leaping forward and living the life that you were born to live. So message me for um, how I can help you one-on-one -on -one or group as to how you can actually conquer fear. And as always, stop existing, start living. I will catch you guys tomorrow with another Conscious Coffee. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Of course, I can't. I can't even get my phone to work today. So, all right, now I'm gonna say goodbye, maybe, possibly. We'll see, okay, love you.